Hugh Groman from uh, Hugh Groman Catering is in studio making truffles, sashimi, tuna, black olive with what Greer. kind of fritters? Greer fritters. Oh, thank Greer. you so much. <laughs> I needed to buy a valve there. That's, with that's some, uh, two hors d'oeuvres <laughs> mixed beverages. together. Claudine, also, take it away. Yeah, we've also have some adult beverages as well. Oh, man, if you can smell this. Oh, I know at home you can't. But Hugh, it smells so good. And you you got fancy is what I said. I'm like, I'm you fancy. got fancy on us. Uh, you have so much that you're making. Tell me, where do you want to start? Well, I, I'm starting out by deep frying these uh, black olive and Gruyere fritters because these are going to take a couple minutes, and I want to I want you to see how they come what's out. What's in them? Because this is really kind this of is a like cool, a, a, your magic a gouge, here. Um, What's it called? A choux, and it's a French batter that's used to make uh, cream puffs and gougeres and you just beignets. Just like cheese. And it's in like this there, basic yeah. batter, and then you do all different things to it. Sometimes you bake it, sometimes you fry it. In this case, we added lots of Gruyere cheese and black olives and mustard, and then we're deep frying it. Complicated mix in here. Uh, it's not that difficult to make. You just uh, heat up the milk and the butter and the eggs, uh, excuse me, the milk and the butter and the flour, and you cook them in a pot, yep. and then you add the eggs and you mix them in. It's just really like easy. Just like cream puffs. Yeah. Sounds really easy. So okay. while those are frying, I'm going to make up our cocktail. So this is mm. a sort of a special uh, wintry variation on a lemon drop. Love it. And this is, uh, lemons smell so instead good. of vodka, we've got gin. And instead of the regular lemons, we've got these beautiful Meyer lemons that are very local and seasonal. And you've got the syrup going in there. Yeah, and then maple syrup instead of the uh, sugar, the simple syrup that you usually put in this. So here's the gin. There's the gin. And just some maple syrup. And then we're going to squeeze a little bit of... Woo! <laughs> it's so delicious. And then we're going to squeeze a bunch of these yummy uh, Meyer lemons in here. We're going to shake it up and we're going to pour it into the into the glass, okay. and then we're going to drink it all very quickly. <laughs> and then we're going to make I'm another like round and yes. another <laughs> round. And then, and then we'll forget all about the food. And then after this, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful uh, a second hors d'oeuvre, which is this beautiful truffle sashimi tuna with um, avocado and lemon on a homemade potato chip. You can just make make it with your favorite potato your favorite chips, potato like those chip. kettle chips that are really good. This is and one of those things that everything you're, you're doing sounds super fancy. Do you want me to shake very, that while you make that? We're done. We're, we're here. Oh, we're ready. Done. We got to drink it. And um, so I'll show you how to make these uh, truffled sashimi tuna hors d'oeuvres. Uh oh, I don't think I mixed it well enough. There we See, go. Now it's you even. You should have let me mix it. You're right. <laughs> always let Claudine be in yes, charge. Yes, always let Claudine Okay, here, be in taste charge. that while All I right. do this. So now I've got this um, sashimi tuna, which I've got some truffle oil in here, and it needs a little salt and pepper. And this avocado, which is just diced up with a little lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm here, gonna I'll, I'm going to throw a little bit of olive oil. And, yes, is that, that olive was, oil? Oops. Okay. And, um, you're going to stir this all up, and then all you do is just put the tuna, uh, you put the avocado on the potato chip, and then you put the tuna on the potato this chip. This to me seems like one of those dishes that sounds super fancy, but actually exactly. is not that easy. It, I'm like it, no, it is. Here. How are those doing? Oh, they're doing great. I'm just, I'm are trying they, to be helpful. Are they helpful brown and beautiful? So that I can take credit for okay, making well, it later. Okay, well, maybe to be helpful, you can also <laughs> taste those, I don't know if you want to taste. Do you want to taste the, uh, do, the black olive? I do, but I can never talk. Once okay, I yeah, no, it. that's difficult. Okay, it's so difficult. all you do is you take the potato chip and you put this avocado. Okay, I'm back over here looking. And then the sashimi tuna. So and it's do, just beautiful. The I colors are so the beautiful. Too um, much. Just, just pay attention to your seasoning, salt and pepper. Um, buy the tuna pretty fresh. You know, if, if you can, you can buy it that day from like the a good fish market where they have the sashimi style tuna. That's this beautiful red color. It is gorgeous. Okay, so let's okay. let's toast and taste the cocktail. We are out of time, so a toast is always a good idea. <laughs> Mark, we're gonna send it back to you as we sit over oh. here and we eat.